My name is Meg Lewis, I'm an editor at Harlequin UK. I've been here for seven years. I work on the Reva and the Cherish teams and I'm here today to tell you a bit more about emotional conflict and how you can make it work for your story. So, what do we mean by internal emotional conflict and why is this necessary for your story? Well, imagine if at the beginning of your story your hero and heroine were already in love and there were no emotional barriers for them getting together. Well, that would be really boring and there would be no story. So, what we need to see is that each character has an internal emotional barrier for them getting to, into a relationship and for getting to their happy ending. Another way of looking at it is if your hero and heroine were stuck in a room together with no other distractions, what would be internally keeping them apart? A really basic example of an emotional conflict could be if the hero or heroine had a bad experience in the past of romance. So what if the heroine's boyfriend had turned abusive and or treated her really badly in some way and this has led to her creating barriers of, of between herself and, and relationships? What if it's created trust issues? How is this going to affect her in the future? External conflict should only be used to support your internal conflict. An example of an external conflict could be that your hero and heroine work together. Some conflicts might blend both internal and external conflict. For example, a pregnancy is an external happening, however it is your exploration of your character's internal emotional reactions to the situation that could actually make it an internal conflict. Just a word of warning about misunderstandings, these can sometimes be used as external conflicts but they are very difficult to sustain tension. So for example, if your heroine sees the hero in the street with another woman, this clearly isn't sufficient to sustain the tension in your story. So to sum up, internal emotional conflict is absolutely key to your romance. So if you have a burning idea that you want to write, please don't hesitate to send it in to us. We can't wait to read it.